Now, everybody wants to build a huge base in Rust, but I want to see what happens when you build the smallest base in Rust. <laughs> but not have it be small just for the sake of being small, have it packed with utility as well. A base isn't a base without a workbench level 2, a tool cupboard, some furnaces, a farming system, an auto turret, and much, much more. And I'm going to try and fit all that inside of three triangles. <laughs> I started out how everybody starts in Rust. As naked on the beach. No, I'm joking. I just ran to outpost. We're going to start from there. Look at all these normal sized bases. <laughs> Pathetic. <laughs> oh, we've made it to outpost. Lovely. Uh, I'm going to put down a bag where I can. Can I put one here? Oh, join these guys. How cozy. Now, I wasn't going to build a starter base or anything like that. I was going to jump straight into the deep end. And to do that, I need 1,850 metal fragments. So it was time for a little bit of a farm. Oh, it's a nice horse. Cheers, mate. Oh. Come on, baby. Right, let's do this. Oof, yeah. Bad. <laughs> Got a bunch of metal frags. Let's go outside and try and build the starter of this base. The first thing we're going to be putting down is a tool cupboard. Let me go craft it on the tier one, actually. A certified alcoholic. <laughs> Brilliant. Man, oh, man, oh, man. Alright, the tool cupboard is locked. That is a good start. Alright, the starter is down. That is good. That's the, the basic structure of the base complete. Now is all I need is a ladder hatch, a triangle ladder hatch, and then we will be good. Or, and then we've got to try and fit all of the items that we need inside these t these three square the triangles. <laughs> After getting the necessary components for the triangle ladder hatch, idiot brain here forgot one of the most important details about that. All right, we got some gears. Let's make ourselves a ladder hatch. I'm using the tier one in outpost, and then we'll actually have a secure base. How is that dude sitting there? How is that? Oh, okay, that's really cool. <laughs> I like that. We need a ladder, and then we need a ladder hatch. Triangle ladder hatch. 300 metal frags. One would. Oh, I need more metal frags. I can buy some more. Okay. Yes. Triangle ladder hatch. All right. Did it work? Why didn't it work? Is it... Is it a tier two? Oh, I think it's a tier two. The triangle ladder hatch is a tier two blueprint, meaning that I would need a tier two workbench in my base before I could even craft it. And in this case, that means I'm not going to have a door on my base at all until I farm 500 scrap. So can you guess what we did next? <laughs> okay. Well, I've... Uh... Got a farm up for the tier two. I'm going to use this as a trap base. So if anyone jumps in here, there's a shotgun trap right here that will instantly kill them. What if we build, what if we unintentionally build like the world's best trap base? Wouldn't that be amazing? All right, let's go and farm for our tier two. We need 500 scrap. Uh, and let's hope that in the meantime, we get some people. Oh dear. Wow, okay. What the f Oh, someone just jumped in the trap base, but I'm dead. I'm gonna use this to fight the other guy that just took my stuff. He's dead. <laughs> oh, dude. Let's get out of dodge. Let's get out of here. There's a lot of scrap. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> oh, once I get home with this, if I get home with this, I should have 500 scrap ready to make the tier two, and then we can craft the ladder hatch to actually seal our base. <laughs> and then we can work on adding all the extra stuff that we need to add to make it feel homely. Please be no one, please be no one, please be no one. We're good. Four, okay, we need. <laughs> Come on, we need 14 scrap. Okay, 500 scrap. Okay, we need to hurry up. Uh, ladder. No. I am so scared right now. I do not want to die. Turn this off. Stop. Everyone stop moving. <laughs> we stand still for a bit. <laughs> All 
All right, let's calm down a little bit. Let's craft our work. Let's put the stuff back and <laughs> not craft our work. This area is insane. Okay, is it calm? All right, let's do it. Craft. Okay, get back in place. <laughs> okay, that's good. So in theory, if I remove this shotgun trap, it too. Love it. So after many hours, we can finally craft a ladder hatch and have a door to secure our ba- In a matter of seconds, I lost everything. <sighs> I spent the next few hours farming up enough scrap to actually get a ladder hatch on the base. But I wouldn't yes. forget that name. It turns out the guys that have been dominating the area live right next to me. <laughs> oh, we're in. We actually have a secure base. Oh, that's taken so long. Ah, oh, and the box, and the tier one, tier two goes down. I'm pretty sure I just heard someone outside, so that timing was amazing. Okay, furnace. So that's one, two, three, four items out of the total. All right, storage is going in. Pretty sure I can only fit one of these on here. Beautiful. Now, to put the drop boxes in, which is going to be a lot of storage, uh, you have to downgrade it or change it to uh, the normal sheet metal. Otherwise, it doesn't let you put it in, which is really strange. I mean, this works. I might be able to put a few in, actually. Oh, wow, I can. Okay, cool. That is so much more storage. Hell yeah. <laughs> With the base now secure, it was time to add the features that we would need. And the first one being the farm. I didn't know he could come in. What the hell? Ah, he's a customer. What the fuck? Is Polar Bear shopping at the supermarket? Hello? I think I want to start working on the farm. Um, so I need to get a solar panel. Oh, there you go. I was going to say, I need to get tech trash. But that recycles down into tech trash. So let's go to Outpost and do that. What? That guy's having a bad day. We'll wait for the outpost timer and then I can move into outpost. Hey, 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 hey. Team up, let's team up. Let's go, let's go. Quickly. Hi. Hey, 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 hey. Nice Sundays. Hey, hey, let's team up. Hey, hey. <laughs> hey, hey. Hey, 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 let's team up. Whoa! Give me more. Whoa! Dude! Look how small my base is compared to everyone else's. It's tiny. Oh, okay, we're in. All right, nice. Pretty sure I can. A batch of pumpkins. Uh, I'm gonna plant the farm. It's gonna, it's gonna have to be an outside farm. One of the things that this base needs is an automatic airlock. Because I'm going for the smallest base possible, I only wanted one door. And if you've played Rust ever, you know that having two doors is very important. So to compromise this, I put an automatic timer on the door so whenever I open it, it closes within two seconds. And that checks something off then the if list. I activate this for what, five seconds? Ah. Okay, and then it'll close it after five seconds. Okay, so we open the door using that, and then we have an airlock. That's pretty damn cool. Somebody's farming the road. Oh my. These guys are always so loaded. I don't understand. And not before long, I added a farm to the top of the base with an automatic sprinkler system that will water the plants. Yeah, we got water. All right. It's looking pretty good. <laughs> this is such a cool base, man. I love it so much. Look at it. <laughs> it's so tiny. <laughs> Automatic doors. We've got a farm going. Got a tier two in there. It's looking good, dude. It's looking real good. All right. It's the start of a brand new day. Uh, I need to find some seeds to put in the farm um, because we've got water system going on now. So it'll be automatically watered. Uh, but we need some seeds to grow stuff. So I want to go and find some today. Because all I have to do 
is pick up some hemp bushes like this one. That didn't give me any seeds. What? Okay, maybe a bigger one. <laughs> oh! What the fuck? All right, we got some berries planted. Very nice. I think the next step is working towards some kind of protection for my farm system. So I'm going to farm up enough stuff to purchase an auto turret from Outpost and attempt to protect my base with it. Ah, uh, a brand new morning in our tiny, tiny base. I think today's plan is setting up that auto turret. Uh, I do believe that having an auto turret is probably going to get us raided. Uh, it usually does. Every time you set up an auto turret, people really don't like them. So um, we're going to have to be very careful with uh, who we kill because it might get spicy. Oh, there is a lot going on outside. What is happening? Uh, I think I already have enough scrap to buy one. Can I just buy one? Yeah, oh, they're 400 scrap. Yeah, I do. I do. I do. Okay, so let's set up the... <coughs> okay, I'm going to set up the platform that the auto turret is going to go on first, I think. And then the first real test of the base happened. Oh, the timer just saved us. That's so cool. <laughs> oh, the timer actually just saved us from losing everything. I love that. That's the best thing that's ever happened. Finally, something good happened. Oh, they're definitely probably going to raid us. I need to get this turret set up straight away, dude. Turrets take a minimum of 10 power to run. So with all the other farm stuff in the base, what we currently got just won't cut it. So I added another solar panel to the base and then went to Outpost to buy the auto turret. Uh, okay, moment of truth. I'm going to go purchase myself a turret. All right, here we go. Let's go. One auto turret. Oh, the defense is going to be so good. Is it on? It's on. We have an auto turret. Yes. Wait, I did put the ammo in. Oh, no. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, okay, right. We should have a turret. Yep, with power, with ammo. Nice. That's actually so good. Uh, now I think we just need to get a better weapon inside it. Can I make meds already? Alright, we need to work on getting a little, a better weapon for our turret. Someone's farming the road. Someone was farming the road. Not anymore. I feel so much better now we've got a turret out here. It's only got a revolver in it, but that's still something. Hey man, it's looking kind of cool. It's looking really cool. I'm very happy with the progress that we've made so far. We've got so many items in here. The farm's working. And is there enough water? Oh, um, we may have found a problem. Don't think there's enough water for these all to grow. After fixing the water supply, I realized I could just buy an M39 from Outpost and stick that in the turret. Whoa, what the hell? That's a lot of cloth. <laughs> That, M39, that's going to go straight in the turret, let's go. Uh, I need some sulfur. I need some sulfur for to make some ammo for the turret. So let's go and get some. I haven't actually farmed like at all. The great thing about having such a small base is I don't really need to farm. Like My base is done. Maybe with resources for like upkeep. Even then, it's so small, it doesn't take anything. Okay, the turret is on. Turret is working with the new weapon inside. So that should give us a lot more defense than what we had before. Definitely. While I was out roaming, I came across a familiar name. I don't know if that guy died. Oh, they live here? Oh, that's so typical. 
Хоть тебя мама шлюха, сынок. Ты долбоеб конченый, нахуй сюда. Well, well, well. Look who it is. Do you remember the guys that took literally everything from me at the start? Well, I've just found their base location. Now, at the time, I didn't really think much of it because I was only a solo and I knew they were at least a four man. And I knew, realistically, there wasn't really much that I could do. So I logged off for the night, thinking that this was over and I would just be sad. But I checked my base in the morning just in case it didn't get raided. And to my surprise, we actually survived the night. There is absolutely no way that we are still not raided. What? How does that happen? Uh, there's like one door to loot. How is that? I mean, I'm not complaining. We're all good. All right, let's, uh, let's continue. The first thing I wanted to do when I logged in was check on the neighbors. I was really hoping that they were offline so I could get up to some funny business. I landed on top of their base only to find a normal sheet metal door. So I quickly farmed up a bunch of sulfur, smelted it and crafted some satchels and went to work. I'm gonna go through the top door. Go through this door here. Come on, baby, please. And look who it is. Ah, oh, revenge feels so good. Okay, I'll take that. I'll take that any day of the week. I'll take your boots, mate. Appreciate it, and I'm gonna kill you. I'll take that, dude. I'll take that. The amount of pain and misery they caused me yesterday, I will take that as a bonus. That is huge for me. Thank you so much. I took everything to Outpost, turned it all into scrap, and researched a load of blueprints for next wipe. Thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please leave a like and comment down below. Subscribe if you're new, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye. Peace out.